Welcome back to the Grand String Video Guide series. In this video, we will cover IGMP snooping and explain how it helps optimize the forwarding of multicast traffic. IGMP stands for Internet Group Management Protocol. It is used by devices to report their multicast group membership. When a device needs to receive multicast traffic for a specific multicast group, it sends a membership report to the connected switch. The membership report includes the multicast groups which the device wants to join. Switches rely on IGMP to learn about the multicast groups in a network and their associated members. Without IGMP, all multicast traffic will be considered unknown multicast traffic and the switch will need to send that traffic to all connected devices, which results in unnecessary network traffic. Regarding the types of IGMP messages, for every subnet, there should be a router or a switch that acts as the IGMP querier. The querier frequently sends a general membership query asking devices in a subnet if they need to receive multicast traffic. Interested devices will send a membership report that includes the multicast group they would like to join. There are other types of messages, but this is just to give you a basic idea about how that works. IGMP snooping is a function that allows switches to monitor membership messages to learn about multicast group members and their connected interfaces. Switches use IGMP snooping to forward a specific multicast group traffic to only a member or members of that multicast group, instead of flooding the multicast traffic to all connected devices in the same subnet. Forwarding the data only to the relevant ports conserves bandwidth and processing resources. This is an example of what happens when IGMP snooping is disabled on the switch. When an IP phone wants to page an IP intercom over multicast, the switch will flood the multicast traffic on all active interfaces in the same subnet, which leads to generating unnecessary network traffic. So, even the devices that are not interested in the multicast traffic will have to receive and process it. With IGMP enabled, the switch will learn the devices that are members of a multicast group and forward the traffic to only the members. This example demonstrates how the switch forwards the multicast traffic only to the IP intercom for the multicast destination 255.20.20.20. The main benefit of enabling and configuring IGMP snooping on the switch is to optimize the network performance by making the switch forward multicast traffic to only relevant devices. This helps reduce the amount of unnecessary network traffic which could result from forwarding traffic to devices that are not interested in receiving it. Now, we will log into the web interface of the switch to configure IGMP snooping. Go to multicast and click on IGMP snooping. By default, IGMP snooping is disabled on the GWN 7800 switches, so we will go ahead and enable it. Traffic for a multicast group that is not reported to the switch through IGMP membership reports will fall in the unknown multicast traffic category. If flood is selected, the switch will forward the unknown multicast traffic to all connected devices in the same subnet. If drop is selected, the switch will discard the packets. The third available option is forward to router port. You would choose the third option when you have a router that acts as the IGMP querier. We will just leave it as default. GWN 7800 switches support IGMP versions 2 and 3, which are both backward compatible with IGMP version 1. The main enhancement added to version 3 is the support for inclusion and exclusion of source IP addresses that can send multicast traffic to a particular group. In other words, version 3 has the capability to restrict the source IP addresses that can send traffic to a particular multicast group member. Let's just use version 2 for this demonstration. Report suppression is a feature available on IGMP version 2. It basically limits the membership reports sent to the querier for the same multicast group. This explains how report suppression works on the switch. We have two connected switches and one of them acts as the querier. There's normally only one querier per subnet. The querier could be a switch or a multicast capable router and it is responsible for frequently sending membership queries to ask if there are any devices interested in joining a particular multicast group. When a device receives a query, it responds with a membership report to inform the switch or the router of the multicast groups it wants to join. 
When a switch receives multiple membership reports for the same multicast group, it will forward the first report and suppress duplicate reports for the same multicast group. When ready, click OK to save the changes. Next, we need to enable and configure IGMP snooping for the desired VLANs. We will go ahead and edit VLAN 1. We will toggle this option to enable IGMP snooping. In a network environment that has a multicast capable router, the switch will automatically detect the port used by the router. The switch uses the router port to forward the multicast traffic and IGMP messages so that the multicast router can forward the multicast traffic and IGMP messages to other subnets. A multicast capable router is required in case routing multicast traffic between subnets is needed. Next, we have port fast leave option. By default, when a device wants to leave a particular multicast group, it sends an IGMP leave message to the querier. The querier then responds with group-specific query message to check if there are any other devices still interested in the multicast traffic for that particular group. When the switch has port fast leave enabled and it receives IGMP leave group message on a particular port, it will forward the message to the querier, but it will suppress the group-specific query on that port. In other words, the switch will simply remove the port from that specific multicast group and will not check if there are other devices still interested in the multicast group traffic on that port. This feature is used for IGMP version 2 when there is only one host connected per switch interface SID. This is an example of when port fast leave should not be enabled. This topology shows four intercom devices connected to an unmanaged PoE switch, which is in turn connected to switch B with port fast leave enabled. When one of the IP intercoms sends leave group message, switch B will simply remove the port used by the unmanaged switch from the multicast group, even if there are still other intercoms interested in that multicast traffic. So in such a scenario, Port fast leave should be disabled to allow the switch to check if there are other hosts still interested in the multicast group. We will leave the rest of the settings as default. These settings apply only when the switch is used as the querier. You can pause the video to read the function of each setting. Next, we go to Querier tab. In the absence of a multicast capable router, the switch can be used as the querier. By default, this option is disabled on the switch. In the presence of a multicast router, you can still enable querier on the switch to become a backup querier. Something to keep in mind is that when you have multiple queriers in a subnet, the one with the lowest IP address will become the querier. For instance, when you have two switches in the same subnet with querier enabled, the switch with the lower IP address will become the querier and the other switch will become a backup querier. We use the IP address setting to define the switch that will be used as the querier. Let's go ahead and set this switch as the querier. The querier option must be configured for each VLAN. Under router port, we statically configure the port used by the multicast router. Earlier under global settings, we talked about router port auto learning which allows the switch to dynamically learn the port used by the querier. Essentially, when a switch interface receives a general membership query, the interface is automatically set as the router port. Router port auto learning is enabled by default, and that is how the switch was able to populate the information displayed here. This tells us there is a querier in the network, and it is connected to interface 3. If you need to define the router port statically, first you need to disable router port auto learning for the VLAN under global settings. After it is disabled, go back to Router Port Configuration page and click on Add. Enter the VLAN number and select the router port for the VLAN. For added security, you can define the ports that should not become router ports to prevent the network from ROG query. Under Multicast Address, we can see the multicast groups that have been dynamically learned by the switch through IGMP messages. In a situation where you have a multicast device connected to a switch interface and IGMP is not supported on the device, click on Add and define the VLAN in the multicast IP address for the device. This way, the switch will always forward the multicast traffic for this multicast group on the selected interface or interfaces. In other words, the host will receive the multicast traffic for the static group even if it has not subscribed for that group. 
Under Multicast Policy, you can define the multicast group range that hosts can or cannot join through IGMP messages. Let's use the IP intercom in this topology as an example. We will create a policy that will restrict multicast membership to only the three multicast groups displayed here. To add a policy, click on Add. Set Action to allow and define the multicast group range. Then, save the change. Next, go to Multicast Port page and edit the port used by the IP intercom. Go to Multicast Policy ID and select the one that we just created. With this policy applied, the IP intercom is allowed to join only the three multicast groups defined under Multicast Policy. Maximum multicast group count is an additional restriction that you can apply to an interface. You can specify the maximum number of multicast groups that can be joined on a specific interface and in a specific subnet. For instance, if the IP intercom is allowed to join only three multicast groups, you can enter three. Under Action, when the maximum number is reached, you can configure an interface to reject new membership reports or to replace the existing multicast groups with the ones in newly received IGMP report. We will set it up for Reject and click OK. This concludes today's video guide about IGMP snooping. Stay tuned for more video guides about the GWN 7800 series.